Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kid Lee. A brand new trailer is upon us for Knights of the Fallen Empire. This trailer is called Become the Outlander Gameplay Trailer. So if you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and show it to you now. And then I will come back and give you my thoughts and a little bit of analysis. So here we go. You come all this way. What do you want? I want you to answer for your crimes. I am a veteran of the Great Galactic War. I've carried many titles into combat. Only one matters now. Outlander. Outlander, surrender! The Empire and Republic have all but fallen. You're our last hope. You want to fight? I'm ready. You do not have to stand against me. Instead, I will share all of this with you, if you will only kneel. So there we go. That is the brand new gameplay trailer. So I've actually got it on screen here. So let's go ahead and back up and let's roll through a couple of these scenes that I want to sort of talk to you guys about. And you know, we've got the uh, the classic scene here in the th in th in the throne room with the the one brother that actually survived. But the first scene I actually want to talk about here, where is it at? Let's actually skip ahead. This is actually a, let's see, can I make this a little bit brighter? Can I jump ahead? Come on. Come on YouTube's, you can do it. I trust in you. Nope, that's too far. Okay, I guess we're going to have to just stick with what we have here. So, the trailer showed the Jedi Knight. And you have to make sure you understand that when they showed this character, it's simply a placeholder. It means that you can remove the Jedi Knight for your character. That's what it's saying. And you can see here that Darth Mar is in the scene with the Jedi Knight. And you'll actually notice... Right, right here that both of their hands are bound, so they're captured by this new faction. Now, something else that's sort of interesting is the fact that it is indeed the Jedi Knight who is with Mar. I wonder if you play on the other side, on the Empire side, if it's, if it's actually Satil that comes in this scene with you instead of Mar, or is it Mar in both places? So it'd be really interesting to see what becomes of of this scene but how did they get captured that is definitely going to be a true mystery indeed and i think this scene is probably pretty deep into the chapters this is not something that's going to happen right away cuz in the dialogue he said something about you have you've, you've come a long way to basically come before me or whatever so that tells me that this is probably in the middle or maybe even near the end. It's kind of hard to say. So we'll skip ahead here. We get a shot of, again, there's the Jedi Knight sort of possibly fighting the, the Emperor. He's, he's twirling around his lightsaber and doing some interesting things. There's actually a scene right here. And I actually paused it in a good spot, but let me actually back up or go forward because... This, Right, right here. So there's this scene of, again, your character fighting what appears to be another Jedi. Again, yellow lightsaber. But if you'll notice, it is indeed actually a female. So it's not the brother. She's she's actually wearing what could be like a, a some a crown or tiara of some type. So it'd be really interesting to see exactly who that is. Because at this point, we have no idea. Could could it? Maybe even be uh, the Emperor's wife, maybe? She looks like she could possibly be old enough. So we'll go ahead and we'll move ahead here. There's a bunch of shots. Like this shot here and this shot here. There's some very quick little cinematic type scene shots of a, a new city. And they've actually shown us other 
screenshots of this new city as well. So this is going to be a new planet, I believe, whichever this new city is going to be in. Uh, we've got a, a shot here of one of the, the new guards or troopers for the new faction. And right here, we'll go ahead and we'll pause. Actually, I'll see if I can get... There's actually a better shot right there. So this is the what I'm gonna what I'm gonna call the new Lana Benico, the aged, the much older Lana Benico, because this game, or when the expansion comes out, there is going to be a time jump. Now, how big is the time jump? We don't really know at this point, but there will be a time jump indeed. So that's why she looks different. Her hair's a little different, different clothing, different lightsaber. So some good shots of Lana taking out some of these troopers, and then here's a quick shot of of Mar doing the, the same thing. And you can see both Republic and Imperial troops going to, going to town on this faction. And you can see that they are fighting back as well. But there's a quick shot. This is this right here is the was a really, really quick shot in the trailer. I think a lot of people may not have even realized that this shot was in here. But you see Lana approaching someone frozen in carbonite. I believe this could be near the, the start of the expansion. Because it, it is said, it is known, that our characters are frozen in carbonite. So this could be Lana unfreezing us from Carbonite. And then Lana then becomes our first new companion. I think that's probably what this scene is. And it's a very, very quick scene. Like if I actually back up, we'll run this in real time here. Watch how quick that scene is. They almost tried to hide it. Just boom. It was that quick. I don't even know if it was a second. It might have been like 0 0.6, 0 0.8. It was very, very quick. Just showing her like throwing a guy out of the way. Carbonite in the background. End scene. It was really, really quick. And it's it's just dark enough that you can't really see who that is. So keep that in mind for when the expansion comes out. There's then scenes of, again, our character on a ship that appears to be exploding. And then you see, this looks like an escape pod to me. And again, you can see this is actually an Imperial character based on what he's wearing. But this looks like an escape pod flying away from what could be a Star Destroyer being blown up. It does not look like a, a Republic-designed ship. It looks more like an Imperial ship. And you can see it just sort of blown up there. And then here's another good shot of Lana possibly talking to you. Let's actually go back to that shot Again, nope, hold on, I missed it. Let's go back. So this actually could be a reverse shot of the shot that I was looking at before. So now we're actually looking at Lana f from where the, the person who was frozen was, and we're looking back at her. So again, this could be part of that opening scene where she's like, She's basically talking to you like, I have unfrozen you. You've been frozen for 30 years or or whatever. So I, I think that's probably what that is. Again, here's sort of a an opening scene to, well, the opening scene where we already saw that Mar and the Jedi Knight were captured and they're, they're being led into the hall by the, the one surviving brother. Again, you see they're coming up to the Emperor guy. And he, he pops the big the big question. Let me turn on sound here just a little bit. And I will share all of this. With I would you. share all of this with you if you would only kneel. If you will only kneel. Now the the interesting thing about this scene is that Bioware has already said that you are not able to join this third faction. So this adds some confusion to that statement. Because this was a big scene that, that they decided to show in this trailer. Which appears to show that you have the option to join him. So why would they say that you can't join him and then play this where it's like, join me? So we've got, we've got some confusion going on here. And I'd like to see that Bioware actually clarifies this. 
Because they have said in the story that one of the biggest things they want to do with this is give people options and, and options and choices that matter. So if this is nothing, then I don't understand why they would show it. So this, this has got to be something, something big where you actually, well, do have the option to join him in one way or another. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that, ladies and gentlemen. And there we got the end screen, Star Wars The Old Republic, Knights of the Fallen Empire. So that's just a, a brief sort of analysis and my thoughts on, on this new trailer. But I think that will go ahead and do it, so everybody stay tuned for my continuing coverage on Knights of the Old Republic, or Knights of the Fallen Empire. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you all so much for watching. And with that being said, everybody keep playing and have fun.